There is a common issue in modeling with topology when you're using subdivision surface modifier to smooth out your extrusion, which is perfectly fine. The issue is this, let's select a few of the faces, extrude it a little bit, I to insert it and then E to extrude it again. Maybe we are making some kind of window, it doesn't matter. Now we want to use subdivision surface modifier to smooth everything out and it looks like this. Maybe let's increase the viewport, okay, like that and maybe shade it smooth. So it's still bad. Now you can say, all right, I will fix it by adding a bevel modifier and that's okay. Let's add a bevel at the top of everything and it's much better. Let's add segments of two and yeah, it's much better, but this is the common issue. This thin layer, as you can see right here, thin layer of a round shape just above our cube. And we want to get rid of this. And a lot of beginners are doing like this. So we are going to edit mode and just add supporting edges, these loop cuts with control R and we can say, all right, I will fix it like this, no problem. And yes, this is a fix and you can go with this, no problem. But what I don't like here is when you apply the modifiers, you can see the tessellation here, we have really dense mesh and here not that dense and I don't like that personally. So let's undo it. But another issue, even worse, is that you cannot do that on the round surfaces on the curved surfaces. So let's let's go inside here and let's select a few of these. Let me show you the same thing. So let's extrude it. I to inset, E to extrude it. And now let's apply the same subdivision surface. All right, we have this bad thing. Also, we can apply bevel at the top of everything. And yeah, we have this same issue. And now if we go inside and let's like that. Let's add supporting edges like this, like this, like this, and like this, and turn on the subdivision surface modifier. You can see we have the shading issue. So yeah, we don't want that. We don't want to see this issue that this part is flat out. So we don't want that. And how to fix it? Fortunately, there is really easy fix for this. So let's let's undo it. It's the same either if you're doing this or you're doing, um, I don't know, something very simple. Let's go with this very simple. You're doing this, right? And again, if I go to subdivision surface modifier with a level of two, come on, we have a round hole. So it doesn't matter if you first extrude it or just extrude it inside to make a hole. You want a cubical hole, you have this. So the fix is like that. Let's hide uh, the subdivision surface modifier for a moment. The idea is to select all the edges inside here. So the much easier way to select all the edges inside and outside right here is to go to face, just alt and select everything and then shift select this and go to edges. You will see all the edges are selected. Then go with control or command B to bevel this, right? And we are going to bevel this a little bit, not, not too much, but something like that. And if we go back with subdivision surface modifier, you will see that our issue is not fixed yet. But we need to go here to this menu. If you don't see it, just open it. And we need to tweak a few things. We want segments of two. We want the shape to go from default 0 0.5 all the way to one. And oops. And also we want to go a meter outer from sharp to arc. And now we have fixed our issue. It's really cool. We don't have that shading issue that we had before. And what's going on here, let me show you. Practically, we added the supporting loops all around, inside, outside. So let's go to the edges on all four, four sides. And this is how, how it's done. Also, let me show you if, you, if you go now and create this kind of effect and extrude it, then insert it and extrude it in to make some kind of uh, landing station for spaceships, whatever. I don't know, you can do whatever you want. And you can use exactly the same thing to fix it. But this time you need to select everything. So I like to go to select all the faces with Alt and then left click, then Shift Alt and select inside, everything inside also everything here and also I want to select everything here just to be sure 
everything is selected perfect now go to edges and deselect by holding alt and shift this edge this edge and this edge we don't need that basically we need all the supporting edges around and now control or command b bevel it a little bit make sure that you have these options right and you're done so if now you apply the subdivision surface modifier perfect no issue at all you have nailed it this is how it works if you want to fix this just inset it a little bit you can add a supporting loop here but that's another thing you can also go for down below but this issue to get rid of these artifacts by making some kind of windows here like this and to have this kind of issue again select everything like that and that and just bevel it bevel it with these options don't forget these options and you're done you have beautiful smooth out extrusion and you don't have any kind of issues so it doesn't matter if you're extruding in or extruding out you can still do exactly the same thing and just bevel with these settings and have a perfect smooth out extrusions. This is the issue that I was facing a lot of times when I started uh, modeling and uh, I struggled to find a solution. So now that uh, we have a solution here, make sure to remember it, bookmark this video, or I don't know, write it down. And whenever you're facing this kind of issues modeling, in modeling, and you will face it a lot of times, remember this cool trick, it will save your day. See you next time in next one video. Bye bye.